Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Um, this is just another installment on my series of the end scale uh, track layout I'm going to be making for my um, Christmas display underneath my Christmas tree. And what I was thinking, I like, I'd like to add some sound so that when every time the train goes by a certain point, you can hear a train, so you know, sound like you know at a railroad crossing or something like that. So I want to show you what I came up with. It needs some tweaking here and there, um, but it works. So uh, let me just bring you right over here to the project and show you what I got. All right, so I got the train going around in a circle. All right. Now this is, again, this is just a rough. I've got a magnet on top of the engine. I got an ISD 1820. Uh, voice recorder and I've got so that the every time the train goes by I got a reed switch right here so when the reed the magnet hits the reed switch it trips the ISD recorder and it will sound a um, train sound coming out of my speaker all right out of my speaker right there so again I've got an ISD 1820 voice recorder I've got a read switch going into the play button okay I wired it I took the button out and I put the read switch directly into the input of the uh, play button I got a magnet on top of my engine which you know I'll, I'll, I'll mess around with it I, I might even take the magnet and not put it in the engine but maybe put it in the car directly behind it that has no electronics and I'll put it inside the car so you can't see it then say I'll put the read switch up on like a telephone pole or a telegraph wire pole or something like that so that you can't see it and when it goes by it'll sound this you know the uh, the speaker and I'll hide the speaker underneath the tree somewhere but I can put this at a crossroads or just have it you know as the train comes through the front of the tree you know make it uh, make a sound so let's try it out. You ready? Let me turn on the power to it. Let me get the train going around. Here we go. Now I want to get you on the. So it hit it again, but the recorder didn't finish its sound um, file. So watch, it'll do it again. Now it skips it, and it'll do it again when it comes back by. So what do you think guys? Let me shut this up for a second. Um, turn, that off. turn that off. And the uh, ISD1820 sound recorder, that is, I have it plugged into my Jackery over here. And I'll have to, you know, put a power supply underneath the uh, track because the ISD1820 only works at 5 volts DC. And it needs, I would wire it off the transformer, but it needs a constant 5 volts DC. Um, so I'm just going to put that on a separate power supply. All right, what do you think, guys? Let me, let me know some comments down below on how I can tweak this. You know, I'll take the recorder and everything else. It'll be all a nice, neat package underneath. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll build this up so there's a box underneath so I can put all kinds of, you know, all of my electrical underneath for you know lights and street lights and lights in the houses and whatnot um so should i stay at five volts dc for all of my layout i'm thinking so um i'll have everything running on the board at five volts dc and i think that'll work out pretty good um i was thinking about 
coming off the transformer with a buck converter, but that wouldn't work either. It's got to be a separate power supply. So I won't even use a buck converter. I'll just use a 5 volt uh, power supply underneath the deck. All right, guys. I'll leave you with that. I'll let it play again. Oh, I'm going to turn the jackery back on. Let's play it again. <laughs> Ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Here it goes again.